Number 1. Waterfall Way. Armadale is at the western end of a 185-kilometer road twisting through the rainforest-covered slopes of the Great Dividing Range until it reaches the Pacific Highway at the coast. The road takes you through or next to seven national parks, three of which have UNESCO World Heritage status. Number 2. Mulamambi Falls. The most astonishing scene on the waterfall way is a simple drive east of Armadale. Off the main road, at the northern tip of Oxley Wild Rivers National Park, the Wulamambi River plummets more than 100 meters into a gorge in single drop. Number 3. Self-Guided Heritage Walk. At the Armadale Visitor Information Center you can army yourself with a leaflet for a stroll past the many fine old buildings sprinkled around the city center. There are 34 stops along the route, and the oldest of the monuments go back to the 1850s. Number 4. New England Regional Art Museum. The Regional Gallery in Armadale is a heavyweight, boasting the second largest public collection in the state. This adds up to more than 4,500 works, from the 1880s to the present, and representing every major movement in Australian art from landscape painting to contemporary art via Impressionism, Modernism, installation art and more. Number 5. Ebor Falls. At Guy Fawkes National Park on Waterfall Way is yet another stupendous natural site, where the Guy Fawkes River drops over four magnificent tiers of basalt. There's a walking track between both falls, installed with three lookouts for perfect views of the waterfalls and the rugged, wooded scenery of the gorge. Number 6. Cathedral Rock National Park. Another recommended stop on Waterfall Way is this park containing Round Mountain, the highest peak in the New England Tablelands. This domed basalt peak is part of the eastern escarpment of the northern Tablelands, and rises to 1,586 meters. Number 7. Bulumimba. In the northwest of Armadale, the University of New England is built around an exquisite mansion completed in 1888. Bulumimba is one of the region's finest pieces of heritage, designed in the Federation Arts and Crafts style by John Horbury Hunt and built for the pastoralist White family as a summer residence. Number 8. Aboriginal Cultural Center and Keeping Place. Next door to the Regional Art Gallery is an attraction introducing you to the region's rich Aboriginal arts and culture. You can check out selections from the center's collections of artifacts, paintings and photography, and view regular touring exhibitions from major institutions across Australia. Number 9. Saints Mary and Joseph Catholic Cathedral. The church was completed in 1912 after just two years of construction, and is composed almost entirely of locally fired polychrome bricks, with Sydney sandstone for the piers and some dressings like east window and porch. Number 10. Saumarez Homestead. Past Armadale's southwestern outskirts is a National Trust homestead that took shape between 1888 and 1910 when the White family was in residence. There are 16 buildings on 10 hectares of land, counting stables, a milking shed, a slaughterhouse, horse yards and a blacksmith's shop. Hope you like this video. For more videos please subscribe to our channel.